ಶ್ರೀ ಸಚಿದಾನಂದ ಸದ್ಗುರು ಸಾಯಿನಾಥ್ ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ಕಿ ಜೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಾಯಿ ಸಚರಿತ್ರ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇನ್ಸೈಟ್ ಎಪಿಸೋಡ್ ಟೂ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ತರ್ಟೀನ್ ಮೈ ಹಂಬಲ್ ಪ್ರೊಸ್ಟ್ರೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಲೋಟಸ್ ಫೀಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಅವರ್ ಸದ್ಗುರು ಸಾಯಿ by the divine grace of sai an attempt has been made to translate the gist of the divine discourse of shri ramanathan brother telecasted in sai tv this is purely done to share the glory of sai and his divine teachings with more insight to the aspirants o ಗುರುರ್ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಗುರುರ್ವಿಷ್ಣು ಗುರುರ್ದೇವೋ ಮಹೇಶ್ವರ ಗುರು ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ ಪರಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರವೇ ನಮಃ ಡಿಯರ್ ಡೆವೋಟೀಸ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಬೀನ್ ಹೀಡಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದ ಲೀಲಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಸಾಯಿನಾಥ್ ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಮುಲ್ಕೆ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಬ್ರದರ್ಸ್ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲಿ In Sri Sai Satcharitra, Hemat Panji had narrated about Dr. Mulke's nephew's illness, which was rare and dreadful, how he regained good health by the mercy of Sri Sai Nath. Once the boy got healed, he completed his studies successfully and became a BA graduate. Subsequently, he got a job in the railway department. Let's now ponder on this Leela more. It is inevitable that we develop deeply about the disease of the boy the boy suffered and how the most compassionate shri sai ma saved him from an awful state of health the boy suffered from osteomyelitis this causes inflammation or swelling in the bone this was considered incurable the patient might have to undergo surgery to remove the areas of the bone that died most of the times it is caused by bacterial infections this can lead to bone death septic arthritis impaired growth or skin cancer the nephew of dr mulke was less than 16 years when he was affected by this disease this infection damages the longest bones on children and the boy's four limbs were affected causing excruciating pain in his body as the bones were almost getting crumbled into pieces one in lakh might get infected on their bone and suffer from osteomyelitis devotees many divine sport of shri sainath was known to hemat panji out of those innumerable leelas are related to the healing power of the udi still hemat panji mentioned the experience related to dr mulke's nephew as the first in the list because this disease was considered incurable and malignant and the child suffered terrible pain such a complicated disease was healed by the supreme lord shri sai maharaj with his sacred ashes the udi Hemat Panji wanted to underscore this point hence he has narrated this as the first leela that exhibits the power of udi the doctors lost hope medicines were not giving expected result but udi healed the boy completely the symptom of the disease is like tubercular bone abscess so some call it by that name it is also termed as bone ulcer Hemat Panji in the 7th verse of chapter 34 says that in Marathi it is known as Hadiya Vrana which means bone disease. The term Vrana got distorted over time and is called as Varna hence it became to be known as Hadiya Varna which is bone color but the actual term is Hadiya Vrana. The parents couldn't bear to see the suffering of their son. as such they were greatly depressed owing to the conversion of faith by their oldest son at the right moment the most merciful god shri sai maharaj through his ardent devotee shri kaka sahib dikshit pulled them to shirdi for his darshan and gave solace to their heart 
within a year say in 1916 the health condition of the youngest son became worst the boy was in a turmoil and this shattered the peace of mind of the parents they had tried all sorts of medications but the malady was not cured since they have already had the darshan of shri sai maharaj they had implicit faith that the god on earth residing at shirdi will cure their son's ailment still they wanted to try everything possible with the aid of medicines dr mulke is an allopathic doctor having a mbbs degree he tried all sorts of remedies to cure his nephew and he came to mumbai to consult his nephew's case with a medical expert in this disease they both decided to perform surgery and executed it though the surgery was not successful fortunately the blood flow was not obstructed in the affected area so there was no need to amputate that part of the body which itself is owing to the mercy of lord shri sai baba even after the surgery the boy's plight didn't take a positive turn dr mulke was an atheist he understood that the situation of the boy will not improve through medicine and was very sad at this juncture the parents decided to seek divine grace and came to shirdi along with their son for darshan As soon as they stepped into Dwaraka Mai looking at Shri Sai Maharaj they both bursted out in tears beseeching his grace they spoke thus Baba you are the doctor of doctors you heal everybody's ailment your mere glance will cure even the incurable disease the disease is causing tormenting pain for our son you are our only refuge we take shelter at your feet and submit ourselves completely to you please save our son we beg you to place your grace bestowing hand upon his head and bless him to lead a healthy life only your grace can bring him back to normalcy Shri Sai Baba's heart melted listening to their plead. Shri Sai Maharaj is an ocean of compassion. His heart is ever filled with love and is compared to the wax as it melts listening to the pleas of his earnest devotees. Shri Sai Baba is aware of the plight of the boy. This suffering of the boy is owing to his past karma. Though none can escape from it, Shri Sai Maharaj, being an embodiment of the Supreme Lord, made some assertions which must be etched in gold as they are priceless. Those assertions are written down in four significant OVs in Chapter 34. They are in OVs 22 to 25. Every syllable in it is precious. Let's now listen to those as voiced out by Shri Sai Baba. In the 22nd OV, Shri Sai states, Those who come and resort to this masjid shall never suffer anything in this life. What a great assurance by Shri Sai Na to the devotee. He says, They will not suffer for this whole life. which means he extends his protection throughout the life span of his devotee then in the 23rd ov shri sai maharaj comforts the devotee by saying to not worry about their misery and assures thus now be care free take udi and apply it on the abscess within 4 to 8 days he will get relief have faith in god Though Shri Sai Maharaj is asking them to apply Udi, he insists them to have unswerving faith on God. Moving on to the 24th OV, this is not a masjid, but Dwaravati. He who steps here will get health and happiness within no time. You also will get this experience. Devotees are aware that Shri Sai Maharaj used to call the masjid as Dwaraka Mai. Dwaravati means Dwaraka Mai. Dwar means entrance. 
at the abode of shri sai nath there is no discrimination based on caste or creed devotees following any faith can enter through it as it is common for all faiths to compare the golden temple in amritsar built by saint guru nanak has four entrances to indicate that it is open to people following four different faiths and they all can enter through it to reach the abode of god in marathi the term dwaraka mai is split into dwara ka mai dwar means entrance mai denotes mother ka means being so dwaraka mai signifies the mother that awaits at the doorway just like the worldly mother that awaits at the doorsteps anticipating the return of her child the supreme mother saima is looking forward for all the jeevatmas to return to their abode that is the paramatma hence the masjid is addressed as dwar ka mai is the notion of many to validate this belief shri sai maharaj as that of a loving mother cooked food and served all those came to his abode isn't this amazing the great lord himself took all the pains to collect the necessary ingredients and prepared food by his own hands and served his devotees also i would like to recall the experience bestowed by shri sai baba upon bima ji patel from chapter 13 When Bhima Ji Patel was suffering from chronic chest disease later developed into tuberculosis he had tried all sorts of remedies and didn't find any cure finally he heard the glory of Shri Sai Maharaj through Nana Saheb Chandorkar and came to Shirdi for Shri Sai Baba's darshan The moment he was brought inside Dwaraka Mai though initially Shri Sai Maharaj denied interfering in his case but followed by the distressed plea of Bhima ji the most merciful Shri Sai Baba agreed to relieve him and spoke the same words that he spoke to Dr Mulke's brother and sister in law Stay cast off your anxiety Your sufferings have come to an end. However, oppressed and troubled one may be, as soon as he steps into the masjid, he is on the pathway to happiness. Following this, let's listen to the 25th OV that states, It is impossible that whoever comes here is not relieved. He who climbs the steps of this masjid will accomplish his objective. Know that. As we listen to this declaration of Shri Sai Maharaj our body undergoes horripilation what an assurance from the guru the one who has surrendered himself to the great lord shri sai baba can never go his wish unfulfilled or his problems unsolved this is certain hence need not have any doubt this assurance was not only given to dr mulke's brother's family but Hemant Panji states it as an assertion of the most compassionate lord to all his devotees these verses are like the nucleus of this chapter we as devotees of shri sai maharaj must always remember these assertions of our sai ma as they will give us the strength to handle any kind of challenges in our life rather than whining or being caught in the whirlpool of fear when we encounter problems we as shri sai baba's devotees must endure it with faith and patience and hold the firm belief that our beloved shri sai baba will guide us protect us and save us from any kind of calamities The core message of these OVs is surrendering to the embodiment of God Shri Sai Maharaj is the only way out to all our problems then fear and anxiety will cease to exist getting back to the original thread Shri Sai Baba assured the parents of the boy that he will recover in 8 days consequently Shri Sai Baba fixed his compassionate glance on the boy took the sacred udi in his divine hands and smeared it on the affected parts of the boy's legs 
The boy who has been crying in pain until now forgot his suffering from the moment Sri Sai Maharaj began to glance at him. He seemed to be engrossed in deep thoughts. He sat quietly in the presence of Sri Sai Maharaj. What a miracle! No medicines were administered. Sri Sai Baba's divine glance, his assurances and the holy ashes have given the relief that none of the remedial measures could give. The moment the boy stepped into Dwarakamai, the intensity of the most rare and malignant disease has began to show signs of healing. His cure has started. These three stayed at Shirdi for four days, had darshan and smeared the holy ashes at the affected parts. Just in four days, they found an amazing relief from his ailment. As the boy was in severe pain, he was unable to walk and had to be carried to Dwarakamai. But in four days, he gained strength that he tried to walk on his own. As such, each day passed, there was rapid progress in his health. To the amazement of all, as decreed by Sri Sai Maharaj, on the eighth day, he was completely cured. The parents were awestruck to see the cure of their son. They were in tears of joy, heartily thanking Sri Sai Maharaj for his benevolence and mercy. Dr. Mulke came to know about his nephew's relief from the dreadful disease. He was stunned to hear about his plight. He, being a doctor, cannot believe the words of his mother. At the same time, he couldn't brush away their message that the child is not crying anymore in pain. Being an atheist, he never thought of visiting Shirdi. So he came in person to Mumbai to examine the child and confirm if he got really cured. He was astounded and considered this as a pure miracle. Devotees, what an incredible Leela this could be. A disease that was considered incurable by the then doctors which didn't respond to any kind of medications or surgery got cured merely by the divine glance, assurances and the sacred ashes smeared by Sri Sayanath Maharaj. The power of Vudi is immeasurable. The merciful Lord Sri Sai Baba's potency is unfathomable. His ways are unscrutable. To make the devotees realize these supreme powers of Sri Sai Baba, Hemat Panji has very skillfully narrated this inexplicable divine sport of Sri Sai Maharaj. Now devotees might ponder, did Dr. Mulke gain faith on Sri Sai Maharaj? If yes, how did that happen? We shall listen to those wonderful Leelas connected to Dr. Mulke in the coming episode. Bow to Sri Sai. Peace be to all. Om Sai Ram